Happy Father's Day uh, this Sunday. Um, I probably will have a robot video, Jibo and Friends, here uh, for Father's Day after my Roby video. So we're going to do stage 46. It is the last of pack 12 or box 12. Uh, next week we'll have the opening for box 13. I did want to say the happy news is that I now have all the boxes from D'Agostini's model space. Um, took a while to get box 13 a few months ago because of you know the, the quarantine situation. Mail was not a, necessarily doing a good job of getting here uh, quickly. Um, it took a while to get it. It was well over a month. I think it was like six weeks and I was really worried because I'd gotten boxes after it. But I have box 13, so we're going to be able to do that box. Um, there are 18 boxes, uh, so we're going to see how long it takes for everything. Um, so hopefully, you know, hopefully it's going to going to go quickly and we'll get everything. Like our time together. Me too, Jeebo. <laughs> so hopefully we're going to get everything done, you know, in the next four to five months and have a working Roby. Um, hey, Danielle. Fancy seeing you here. Fancy yeah. seeing you. Hey, Jeebo. Can you set a 25 minute timer for me, buddy? How long is it for? 25 minutes. You got it. 25 minutes. Thanks. Okay, so stage 46. Assemble Roby's left lower leg, then test his right. You don't need to thank me, but you're welcome. You're talking a lot tonight, buddy. Anyway, so in this stage, you will begin to assemble, or we will begin to assemble, Roby's left lower leg before testing the movement of the already assembled right lower leg using the CPU board. So we have the right leg here, and we have the left leg that we did last week. Um, now that you have fitted and tested the foot and ankle servos, completing the assembly of Roby's left foot, it is time to add the parts that will connect this foot to the rest of his leg. To do this, you fit the lower leg frame that will join Roby's ankle servo to his knee servo before adding the outer, outer lower leg cover. Remember to take care when fitting the servo shaft into the D-cut hole in the lower leg frame and follow the test instructions carefully. So today's components are these. Um, made sure that there were the screws. Uh, so we've got three different plastic, no, two, two plastic pieces. And Ferdy, Ferdy's over here. So, he's, I'm sure he'll come out eventually. He's, he's just sitting on the sitting on the couch. He was a ways from the screwdriver, so don't worry. He wasn't going to get hurt. Got the screws. So, we got the left outer lower leg cover. The lower leg frame, the left one. The servo cable, which is this. And then the screws. One is a spare. That's pretty typical. I put the plastic over here to avoid having him get it. He's been a lot better recently about not trying to take my stuff, you know, or play with it. It feels really hot today for some reason. Oh, I know why. I shut the fan off. That's going to do it. So just one second while I get up and get the fan going. I guess mini Roby fell down. And this is big Roby that we're putting together. This is Roby Jr. And this is my room Roby. Which they want you to hold them by this. But with this one, because of the space on the back compared to the others, it's much harder for the smallest one. So there we go. Turn the fan back on. All right. Since I'm up anyway, I'm going to throw this plastic away so that we don't have to worry about him getting good. And I think we should be okay on the time for this one. It didn't look like a difficult level, um, difficult stage compared to the prior ones. Okay. So the saved parts that we need were this and this, the protective pads the CPU board here, and the battery here. And obviously the screwdriver that we always need. And I always keep these to, because the CPU board, the battery, 
best to keep them, in my opinion, in a, uh, almost knocked down poor little Roby Jr. there. I know. I'm not supposed to do him, but at least I didn't pick him up. I just steadied him by his head. Okay, so I'm going to sit down here so that it's easier for me. Always trying to make sure that things are still on frame. It's a little far away from me, but... Okay, so line up the lower leg frame with its outer cover. So this is the frame and this is the outer cover. Exactly following the orientation orientation shown in the photo. Press the parts together as shown. They should fit neatly into one another. Use two of the screws to secure the parts. Note the D-cut holes seen on the inside of the lower leg frame, the lower hole will be the one in which you will fit this corresponding servo shaft in this stage. And then take the left foot assembly, which was the prior stage, then line up the D-cut hole with the lower left fra frame, leg frame with the shaft of the ankle servo, the front panel, Roby's shin, will stretch across the forward facing side of the servo. Tip, Roby's ankle will need to be fully upright and perpendicular to his foot for you to fit the lower leg frame easily. Make sure it is in this position before you continue with this stage as built. Okay, so I'm going to put this down away over here since it's already moved. And he's interested in that stuff. And look at this again. So I'm going to hold this this way. And it looks like it's going to be... Actually, maybe I'm going to hold it here while well, at least get the two parts together. Because it looks like it's... Oh, it's pretty simple. <laughs> I was like, that's very simple, actually. And then the screws are in the inside. Freddy, don't do, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, so we get these screws in place. Should be relatively straightforward. So you can see him. He was sitting over here watching me. He's a little bit more um, radical in the morning, and this is the afternoon evening, so. There we go. So we got the two screws in there. That's pretty straightforward. Now we're going to attach it to this. And we do it this way. Okay. Take my glasses off a minute. Looks like it's make sure I've got it right. I don't want to do it wrong. Yeah, there we go. It looks like that's correct. Okay, and now I need to make sure it's... Okay. So they want this upwards, it looks like. I think so. Maybe. And they go on about the, uh, and I didn't show these, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little, you know, watching, not paying attention to telling the, telling the audience. So this next side, this next page is about the D cut, which I've talked about many times. Making sure that the D shaped shaft and hole are set perfectly in line with one another. Fit the lower leg frame onto the ankle servo shaft. Press the parts together firmly but carefully. They will slip into place easily if correctly set. Never force them. Sealing the servo cable. Fer Ferdy, could you not do that? I didn't even notice you touched that one. I hope I can find the other pink one. You probably knocked it off too. Where'd the other pink one go, Ferdy? I'll have to check it later. Because I need those to keep my parts. Don't be doing that, okay? Little, little guys over there. Anyway, as you have done previously, identify this side to put the protective pads on. I'm not going to put the protective pads on. We'll do it next stage. So I didn't even actually need the protective pads this stage. So now I've got to 
test it. So, now you notice that it isn't as far along as this one. This one still has like the, the knee assembly. Uh, so we're not going to get to the knee assembly this stage. They want us to retest. Uh, so I already put the, put it into the D cut. It's totally assembled. And now they want us to retest the servos. Um, make sure that this looks right. Yeah, okay. Retest the servos on the CPU board to make sure that this is moving the way it's supposed to move. Um, so I shouldn't have taken this out because, I'm, like I said, I'm not actually going to put the protective pads. That's for the next stage. So I'm going to put this back into, for testing, the correct one to test, which it looks like it's the second one, which I thought it was. <clears throat> so this will go back into the second slot on the CPU board. And then we're going to retest the movement with the battery. And this is the battery. And I did check the battery beforehand to make sure it was working. Okay. I don't see what would be not working. And I said that, but now it doesn't seem like it's working. Well, the other thing we're supposed to do... Let me undo it and redo it again because it was working like before the video. This is like, oh my goodness. There we go. Okay. I didn't have it in well enough onto the board. So it is doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, and so that's good. And we're gonna unplug the battery. And we're gonna unplug this. And then we're going to test the other leg. And the other leg is going to go into the fetch the right leg from stage 32. That's how many stages ago it was, this is 46. Inserted servo cable into the right leg socket closest to the micro SD card slot. Set the right leg flat on your work surface, then connect the battery. The test will start as soon as the power is connected. So be prepared and observe the following steps. And then, you know, the same positions that the other one had. And I'll rotate the leg around so that you can see it moving. Uh, so we're going to put this one into the first slot. First slot next to the micro SD card. Okay, let's make sure we get it in properly. This is another one of those where I need to be able to see a little bit better, maybe. There we go. Yep, it clicked in. I need to listen a little bit better, maybe, so that I know that it's clicking into place. And then the battery goes this way. Wish we had extra battery. Okay, so it's moving, it's working. We got that going. So you can see, and it moves side to side. All right, there we go. So. All right, I'm gonna, if I can get it out. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to disconnect it, and that is all for this stage, I believe. So we've got, like I said, that was what, what we did, just testing it. Troubleshooting was fine, did not have to do any of this stuff, thankfully. And that is the end of this stage. Coming in pack 13, we are going to get four stages again, and it's going to be, you see how the knee is here? We're going to get the knee for this leg and I just because this is going to be it was I thought it would be a shorter stage because I always look ahead I'm going to cover this here 
Now, one of the ones I'm going to cover towards the end is going to be the manual, Living with Roby. Um, I printed this off online. I might get this from the book again as well. I don't know what I'll get with the uh, packs that are coming up. But I wanted to, and I'm going to put these back. The CPU board matters the most. But this uh, series guide I got at the beginning. And uh, I want to cover it now since we've done so many of the stages. I want to cover, I've got to find the other pink. Oh, I don't know what Freddie did with it. I guess my stuff is not as exciting. But yeah, the series guide we got at the beginning. Um, it had, you know, some information um, on what was going to proceed. But I wanted to cover, you know, not just everything you can do, you know. But I wanted to cover what where we are in the process because there were specific areas that the different boxes cover. And um, this is what he's going to look like when he's fully built. Uh, so right now, for the five easy build phases that was here at the bottom, we did phase one where the head, you see his head. Phase two were the arms, which I don't have the arms here. Uh, they're, they're put away because I wasn't going to use them this stage. I didn't want to clutter the area. The stage three is the legs, which these are the legs. And that was stages 21 to 45. Stages four are the body, and I kind of debate on that because this was stage 46, so I think they got the stages wrong, maybe. Um, but phase four is the body, stages 46 to 55. And then phase five uh, is completion. So phase four was link the mechan it is going to be link the mechanical components together and complete Roby's body, ready to install the final elements that give him his intelligence. Phase five, stages 56 to 70. There'll be 70 total stages, 18 boxes. Mount the speech recognition board, remote control, motion sensors, and other key control systems. Carry on to add the finishing touches and adjust Roby settings, ready to bring him to life. So we're getting there. You know, stage 47 will be the next one, and we're in we're in phase four. You know, the final countdown isn't quite yet, but we're, we are getting there. So thank you. Um, hope that you have a good good Sunday, good Father's Day, um, and I will see you next Sunday for uh, opening box 13, you know, lucky number 13. And here I'm gonna bring Ferdy, since he's down here, I pick him up. Since he didn't wanna be in the video, Ferdy, he don't like be, mind being held for like a couple seconds anyway. Alista doesn't like being held at all. Bye, bye, bye.